Skynet is coming for us. But before it does, you gotta check out this one terabyte SSD retro gaming drive. So you've got all these PC games, Red Dead Redemption, Plague, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Witcher 3, and then over here on the emulation popular games area, you got Xbox games, GameCube, Nintendo Switch, Wii, Wii U, Dreamcast, PS1, 2, 3, and then 4 and 5, and then PSP, Super Nintendo, your most popular uh, systems on here. Uh, this thing has over 11,000 games on a SSD, so this is on a solid state hard drive. So unlike a lot of the other builds out there that are going to be on spinning hard drives, you get an SSD for a little extra uh, dollars. And I can tell you in this video that, for example, you know, you go to PlayStation, there's 400 games. As you're scrolling through here, they load pretty quickly if there is an image. So these ones just don't even have a picture. That's why they're blank. But typically, it would be a little bit of lag between when you clicked on one of these games and when you saw it. And uh, so it's almost like it's on your internal hard drive because these SSDs are much quicker. So that's going to be pretty cool. And then potentially the SSD should last longer as well. It just doesn't have spinning parts in it. It's not as susceptible to crashing. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Let's see what's on it. And it could be a good little retro gaming drive for you. Oh, here's the play zone. I went ahead and opened it. But it's basically saying, you know, make sure you install your drivers first. Because a lot of people probably buy this drive and they say it doesn't work because they didn't install the prerequisites. But what makes this one so cool is, wow, look at that laser etched. Or that's even a sticker, I think. I think it's actually lasered on there. Um, you get a one terabyte SSD. It says it's six gigabytes per second. We'll see about that. Um, very light. And then it looks like you have two ways to connect it. One via USB and then the other internally into your computer via SATA. And they give you the option again look at that laser etching though look at the branding so you just want to show a comparison way lighter way thinner and then this is the spinning hard drives that they sell typically they do one terabyte five hundred gigabytes in different sizes and they come in these little enclosures so this one it does have it is enclosed it has a little enclosure here you could use usb or in your computer but the big deal here is it's a solid state hard drive versus a spinning one, which actually has discs in there. A lot of people prefer this both with the speed and longevity. So that's uh, the big selling point here. Also, make sure you use the Xbox 360 controller. If you use other controllers that don't register as Xbox, you're going to have to redo some of the controls. It is. And uh, there's a user manual. Wow. I now have 16,000 games. Uh, it talks about the presets. Wow, look at that. <laughs> all right, so we have Retrobat, LaunchBox, and Play Night here. This is where all your files are. They've also given you a shortcut to Retrobat, Play Night Desktop, Play Night Full Screen, and LaunchBox. Let's get started with some of these AAA games over here. So, as you see here, they're not playing around with the PC offering. Silent Hill 2, Speed Brawl, SpongeBob's fun, Stardew Valley, Subnautica. I heard they're building a, or making a remake of this. It's really cool. Teach me Ninja Turtle, Shwarma. <laughs> Portal 2, Plague. You've seen these games on YouTubers Play them. So these are really popular games. Um, and they got some indie games as well. You got Final Fantasies, Dark Souls Remastered, and Dark Souls 2, Cuphead, uh, Battletoads, Capcom Fighting Collection, Double Dragons. Um, that's it. So no big, big games on here. Like, right? Dark Souls is pretty big. And that's because this is only one terabyte hard drive. So, you know, like the Star Wars games and things like that are going to be way bigger. It does have The Witcher. Okay. So these are the PC games that you're going to get. And uh, you can just launch them straight from here. And it's that easy. This has this does not have... This is only PC games. Anyways, uh, you click here. Exit. All right, so that's Play Night. Uh, they also have a desktop mode which uh, looks like this. 
case you prefer the desktop mode. Okay, next let's do launch box. This box, if we go to all games here, we have 4,326 games. We got 3DO, we got 36 games, so not a ton, but all the artwork is there, it looks good. Xbox, oh wow. Some people are gonna like this that actually has quite a bit of Xbox on here. So that's a little different. Xbox One, okay. Um, so I bring that up, Xbox One is basically the same things you're gonna find in Play Night. I don't know why they put that in there. It looks cooler, I guess. Nintendo 64, you've got 393. So this is gonna be pretty much all your games, including some Japanese games as well. There's one picture missing right there. Command and Conquer. Anyways, it's gonna be most your N64 games. Great catalog there. NES, 1746. So this is gonna be Nintendo and Famicom and all that. Family computer, disk system, all the other stuff is kind of potentially in here. It's kind of a mess, but uh, they're gonna have all the ones you want. All right, George Foreman's GameCube, 52 games. So I like to see this on a um, on a little one terabyte drive. It's good to have some games like this. You got Zelda, all three Zeldas, The Sims, Super Smash Bros, Nintendo Switch. So it does look like you have Super Mario Odyssey. You do have P4G. You do have Breath of the Wild. Atari Flashback, and um, ARMS. Nintendo Wii, Sonic Colors, Galaxy 2, Super Smash Brothers, and Capcom. Wii U, Zelda, Mario Kart. I'm not bad. These are all good games. That's good. For a one terabyte drive. Uh, Sega Dreamcast. Nice little collection here. These are all really good games, although there's a lot more for that system. Mostly fighting games. Sega Genesis 656, so it's going to be all of them. Sega Saturn 28, here are the 28 in case you're curious. Cool system, hard to collect. So 443 um, PlayStation games. I'd be surprised if these have the soundtracks on them. They typically strip out the soundtracks to make space, especially on a one terabyte drive like this. So don't expect um, sound, like uh, music on these, background music. PS2. Bully, nice. 39 games. This is a nice little PS2 set. PS3. Nice little PS3 set, especially for a one terabyte here. And then PS4 and 5 are going to be your PC games again. Like, all these games are also in the Play Night. All these games are also in the Play Night. So, you're basically, these are just the Play Night. So, PS4, PS5, nope. PSP, though. 54 games, and these aren't PSP minis, so that's good to see here. And if you haven't noticed something that's going on right now is see how fast these games are loading as I scroll. It does not work this fast if you're on a, on a solid state drive. So that's going to be the big bonus here or when you're on a spinning hard drive. When you're on a solid state drive like we are here, you notice it's just load. There's no lag whatsoever. And that's going to be the same when you load up games and things like that. So that is the premium here that you're getting from the SSD is you are going to get that increased speed. All right, so Retrobat, they're saving it for the retro games, but it's going to have MAME, a couple Atari systems, PC Engine, Game & Watch, Family Computer, Disk System, and then you got Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, and Game Gear, so a lot of portables there. Speaking of arcade, you also have Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket. So let's just go really quick. Uh, MAME, that's where I would spend a lot of my time here. That's going to have your Galagas, your Mortal Kombat, your Pac-Man, X-Men, uh, Mortal Kombat, um, your you know games like this knuckle bash 2 um, your shoot 'em ups your fighters your adventure games even some puzzle games as well galaga and things like that and tetris uh mario bro mario bros as well as you know your the original donkey kong it's all going to be in here in the main folder like i said you have these atari systems pc engine nice to see for over 400 games there some darius some really good games to check out there game and watch you get these little portables family computer disk system and then with the Game Boys, you have every single game from Pokemon to Mario. It's all there. Uh, you can always hit select on your controller and uh, you can select a random game or you can move around with your bumpers to go around a little faster to see what's on here. Uh, you even have Street Fighter Warriors Dreams on here. Game Boy Advance, again, all the games, including the two-in-one packs and the videos and everything else. It's got it all. And uh, so that's where... 
a lot of this stuff is. And then Neo Geo, you are going to have your Aero Fighters 3. You're going to have your um, Metal Slug and your King of Fighters, all that. And then Pocket Color and Supervision. So these are the retro games, and you're right around 12,000 games here. So really quick on emulation performance, I played Nintendo Switch, I played Wii, Wii U, I played PS1, PS2. Um, so PS1, there is no soundtrack, so just keep that in mind. That's how they save space and they pack so much on, on this one terabyte drive. Uh, remember, you can always add and remove games on your own, whether you want to do that on a hard drive or copy it to your own hard drive or your internal hard drive. You have full access to all those things. But uh, as you know, I'm running this on a gaming computer around a thousand dollar price point. It's got a dedicated graphics card. It's going to run all this stuff just fine. Switch, PS2, there's zero lag. It's great. Um, as far as this particular system uh, and this hard drive, I found most emulators were set up correctly. There's a couple tweaks you could do as far as with a couple controllers I had to fix, but the resolutions and everything else was, was working really well. Um, the Nintendo Switch is set to handheld mode. You can always put it to docked mode if you want even better graphics. So there's a little bit of customization you could do to kind of get even more performance out of this or make it look even better. Um, but that's totally up to you. A lot of the out of box was just fine. But back to me testing, you're not going to see me play every single system in this video. It's already a long video, but um, everything I tested worked just fine. So everything out of the box does work. You can always customize it further from there. All right, final thoughts. This thing is cool. I think for the little bit of extra dollars, I think a lot of people are going to be interested in this, especially because I think on some of the other hard drives, what people do is they get those hard drives and they transfer to their own drive or on a different drive. So this might actually save you a step and or people who, you know, it's still un way under $100. You know, I think this is, you know, people are like, yeah, one terabyte and it's an SSD. If I get bored of it, I can always use the SSD as a regular SSD. Um, so not too bad. Um, so really quick on the pros, the price point is good, the SSD is good. I really like Play Night and, and having these different front ends, it gives you an experience. It's, although, while I like it, I also don't like it. I'll, I'll save a con for that as well. I, don't, I think it's a little disjointed as well. But um, that being said, you can use LaunchBox, you can add your license and then use, use Big Box, which is really cool. Um, but it's a nice selection of games. It's a good price point. It's a good jumping off point and most things are configured So that's pretty cool. It's pretty standard in this kind of hard drive space Although I did notice that the game collections were a little different especially when it came to like PlayStation 1, 2, 3 and then uh, the GameCube switch libraries are slightly different as well as some of the AAA games they, they vary depending on hard drive So it's good that you watch these videos and see if it's got the games you want on it now as far as the cons go um, the one that everyone says, you know, the hard drives are coming from China, they could have uh, viruses on it. You know, if that, you know, I'm not too worried about that. If you're worried about that at all, just go ahead and either run an antivirus on it and or just put it on a computer that's not connected to the internet or doesn't have any access to the internet. It's not wired or anything like that. And it's really easy to do. Um, the system specs on something like this, you just need like an i5 processor or better. You do need a dedicated graphics card though if you wanna play like Wii U or, or Switch or PlayStation 2, um, but nothing crazy. Like a, like a three to $500 computer should run on this stuff just fine. So as far as the cons, you know, like most people say, you can absolutely build this yourself for free if you have the time. So, you know, that's one thing is a lot of the stuff you can just do on your own. Um, the second thing <clears throat> being how disjointed it is, you know, I could see what they were going for with the popular games on one side, the PC games on this side, and then the, the retro games on the, on the retro bat, right? They had three different front ends and you can choose between them. But it's just kind of, you know, it's all over the place. Um, the other thing, there's, you know, there are little details that just aren't done. Like, why did I have to add Atari 800 and Atari ST? Like, why wasn't that automatically included? Why did I have to unhide that in the system? I had to hit start on my controller and add those collections in. They weren't being shown by default. The other thing being on the Nintendo Switch, I did have to redo my controls. I had to go into options and change it to the Xbox One controls, where all the other emulators were set up just fine for the Xbox controls. So you find little details here and there of little fixes that need to be done, which is actually fairly typical for these drives. They're never like 100%. They're usually like 95% configured. Um, and then another con that a lot of people say that doesn't really bother me is just the amount of ROMs on this thing. Like you have three different versions of the same game. Some people like that from an archive standpoint. They like the Japanese and the European version. Um, 
you know, some other people that get annoyed by all of that. <clears throat> Um, and then lastly, you know, I don't necessarily think these are the best hard drives. You know, they aren't using the, the top of the line, high warranty, you know, very, um, you know, well-made hard drives. These typically are kind of bottom barrel hard drives. I'm not too worried about it. I would totally use this drive all day, but do know it's not, it's not the same as, you know, a bestseller or like a Western Digital or, you know, some name brand like that. So, anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.